Welcome back. Well, it turns out a record number of New Yorkers are ditching high taxes and rising crime and headed for sunnier pastures in the Sunshine State. Ashley Webster is live this morning in Florida. He's in Clearwater speaking with some of the expat New Yorkers on their new life. Ashley, over to you. Well, New Yorkers and elsewhere, Maria, good morning to you. I want to give you some numbers, just give you a sense of how the exodus has been going. Last year, the number of New Yorkers who traded in their driver's license for a Floridian one, 64,577. That is an absolute remarkable number. It's the highest ever. It's up 46% compared to just five years ago in, well, six years ago now in 2017. Uh, the highest ever, as I say. And by the way, the number two state for converting their driver's licenses to Florida, well, no big surprise, I guess, New Jersey. Couple of blue states, as you say, Maria, fed up with the high taxes, high crime, lower quality of life, lower quality of education. They come to Florida, it's a different world. Let me introduce you to a couple of folks here. Let me bring in Gary Rademacher. Gary, you, um, you're a businessman. You've just recently moved here. Tell me your story very quickly. Yeah, sure. So I originally came to Clearwater about five years ago with a, a business called the Business mm. Academy. I'm a partner with that. Fell in love with the area. And then, uh, but my other businesses are in Denver, Colorado, downtown Denver, and um, it's just never recovered from the pandemic. It's really become a, a, a not very good situation. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, healthcare providers who fly in from all over the country for training in Denver every month, and they've literally asked me, please don't have it here anymore. It's that bad. It's, it's, it's horrible. So what's so good about Florida? Oh, it's great. The weather's great. Uh, the people are nice. Uh, you can't you can't beat the you know just the weather and just the climate here. Yeah. Yeah, and the business is wide open. You know. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Let me bring in uh, John Vasquez. John is president of the Sun Coast uh, Police Benevolent Association. You can speak to the number of police officers who have been leaving the Northeast, John, and coming here. Have you seen that in record numbers? Absolutely, in droves. With the governor's program, with House representatives like Tom Leake and our local mm -hmm. senator here, Ed Hooper, pushing legislation and pushing bills for police officers to become part of the HERO program, where out-of-state officers can receive $5,000 for transferring to come down here. The last two years in a row, the governor's given us a thousand dollar bonus for local wow. police officers who've been here. And what, what do they tell you about the difference between up north and down here? Night and day. It's great to have a state that supports its law enforcement is the first thing they say. Respect. Absolutely. And a beautiful way of life. Absolutely. Very Can't complain. Good. Gentlemen, thank you very much. And Maria, I just wanted also to mention, you know, where are these people coming from? Obviously, Gary here from Colorado. Uh, let me show you U-Haul's numbers, which really is very uh, uh, revealing. 2022, the number one U-Haul uh, request to get out, California, followed by Illinois, Michigan, New York, and New Jersey. And again, as I said earlier, what kind of binds them all together? Blue states. Back to you. Yeah, it's a great story, Ashley. Thanks very much. Ashley Webster, you know, 